Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making chicken fajita casserole in a Ninja Foodi. Alright, in my Ninja Foodi I have it set on saute high and it's hot. I'm going to add some olive oil in. Probably about three tablespoons. Just enough to coat the bottom of the foodie. Now I have one medium onion I diced if that's going in. And I have one red and one orange bell pepper I diced if that's going in. And we're going to allow them to fry in it for two or three minutes until they start to soften up a little bit. All right, none of my peppers and onions went just for a few minutes. I have two boneless skinless chicken breasts I diced up in the cubes and I took a pack of fajita seasoning mix and I put it in a Ziploc bag here and let this sit for a few minutes. Sort of like marinade. I'm going to get that in there with the peppers and onions and I'm going to fry my chicken for a little bit to start it browning. Okay, I allowed my chicken to fry for about five minutes to start to cook it through and my peppers and onions are starting to soften up. Now to this, I'm going to add in two 10 and a half ounce cans of cream of chicken soup. And this recipe was originally meant to be made in the oven, but I don't feel like heating up the oven and going through the long process. I'm adapting it to the Ninja Foodi. Now if you don't have a Ninja Foodi, you can do this in the Instant Pot or your pressure cooker, which is pretty much the same thing. You're just not going to be able to use a browning feature. So I'm going to get my soup in there. And it's going to make this good and creamy. It's also going to help season it some. Alright, and I also have a 16 ounce container of sour cream. We're going to get that in there. out so well so we'll take the spoon and just pull it out of there. Okay now I'm going to give that a stir to get everything mixed together. And it don't have to be perfectly mixed together because as this pressure cooks that'll help boil that together. We're doing a pretty good job blending it together. There's a lot of uh, juices that cooked out of the peppers and the chicken in there, so that's helping to aid in blending this together. Right, I'm going to add in some egg noodles. I'm going to add in 12 ounces of egg noodles. This is a 16 ounce pack, so I'm going to eyeball it. That looks about good. Okay, now I'm going to add in some water because we need water to pressure cook. I'm going to add just enough water to come up over top of the noodles. So there's two cups, probably four cups will do it. And I'm just using cold tap water. Let's take a look here. Yeah, four cups looks like it's going to be good. Now the pasta will drink up this excess liquid, so not to worry about that. Just give it a stir and get everything mixed together. And I'll be getting a clean spoon after it's done pressure cooking because this spoon has raw chicken germs on it. All right, now I'm going to put my pressure cooker lid on here. Make sure we're set on seal. And I'm going to set this to pressure cook for 12 minutes. After the 12 minutes are up, we'll do a quick release of the pressure. Alright guys, I decided to let this go for 10 minutes instead of 12. Now you can see there's a lot of liquid in there, but once I get in here and get stirring, we add our cheese in here. This here will tighten up a little bit. You can see how nice and creamy that is. Now I have some Fiesta Blend shredded cheese. You can also use taco cheese if you can't find this. I'm going to add in about a cup. We're going to stir that in. For a little bit more, we went nice and cheesy. About two cups. Now, if you were doing this pressure cooker, regular pressure cooker, you just go ahead and serve it right like this. It would just be delicious just the way it is. We're going to go ahead and put a little bit of air frying on this since we have the Ninja Foodi out. I'm going to put a coating of cheese on top here. And guys, an inch of food is really getting reasonable. You can get them for like $130 now, this model here. 
end up depending on what you get. And you have all the benefits of a pressure cooker and an air fryer all in one. I really love my Ninja Kudi. I'm going to close my lid down on here. I'm going to turn my power on. This is set on air crisp. It's at 390. I'm going to set my time for 8 minutes. After 8 minutes, the cheese will be melted and this will be ready to go. Alright guys, I let this go for 4 minutes. See how that's nice and golden brown. This is ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. I add a little bit of chives for some extra flavor and color. See how nice and creamy that is. And as that sits in a pan, that'll tighten up even more. I'm going to give this a try. It's really good. It's got a good fajita flavor to it. And I don't know if I got any chicken on that serving. Let me get a little chicken out of here, guys. We'll try that. Slot my stove up. Chicken's tender. Packed full of fajita flavoring. Yeah, there's chicken there. If I could have done anything different next time, I probably would have added three cups of water rather than a four. But this is the first I've ever done this in a pressure cooker. It's a casserole you do in the oven. But it turned out really good. It's creamy, it's well seasoned, and it was really easy. Alright, there you have it. Chicken fajita casserole and the Ninja Foodie. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see ya.